The cost of success is commitment. Now that's a bar. Hey guys, Chris Allen with Chris Allen Inspires. On this channel, I'm gonna talk about money, mindset, and entrepreneurship, and my goal is to tap into all three to fix your financial situation. So I was on the live today, and Professor Keys, Keesia Williams, was on there dropping straight up gems. I'm talking about bar after bar, that Toby Nwigwe, Fi Fi, you know what I mean? Dropping just straight flames. And um, something that she said just really resonated with me. And it was this, the cost of success is commitment. And I'll just add consistency. You know, it's real easy to sacrifice uh, just one time uh, for a few hours, maybe, you know, a night of, of cramming or studying or, you know, putting in that extra work a few times out the week uh, for a little short period of time. But what about the long haul? You know, grinding for a short period of time may give you a glimpse of what you want, but in order to have true success, you need to have, number one, you got to have commitment. You have to commit. Like, without commitment, you won't even get there. But without consistency over a long period of time, you won't have success. Okay, I'm reading a book. It's a marketing book. And the author shares a story about a cigarette company that at the time was ranked number 31 in the U.S. among all cigarette brands. Now, 31 was a, a ranking that was unacceptable to them and they wanted to improve. The author talked about a marketing plan that had a budget of $18 million in the first year. So they put this plan together, they pitched it to the company. The company loved it. It was a really good idea, really good strategies, really good concepts. So, you know, the company went ahead and committed that, uh, committed to that plan. And guess what? After one year, what do you think they were ranked? Still 31. After that huge budget, they were still ranked number 31. The company that the author is talking about is Philip Morris, which sells the Marlboro cigarette brand. Where do you think they're ranked at today? If you guess number one, you're correct. They're actually the number one largest cigarette selling brand in the U.S. Uh, they're an international company. And in the U.S., I mean, they just straight up kill the competition. I think they have somewhere around 40% market share in the U.S. So Philip Morris, the company who sells Marlboro, was actually committed and consistent with their marketing, branding, messaging, uh, what they were doing with their marketing plan. They were committed for the long haul. So do me a favor. Look at your life. Look at where you are right now. Answer this question for me. Am I where I want to be? If you're not where you want to be, the cost of success is commitment and consistency. Until the next time, peace.